Okay, good morning, everyone. The time is now 9.30. I will call the March 13th, 2018 meeting of the Milkweed Township Board of Supervisors to order. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This time on our agenda, we'll take public comment on agenda items other than redevelopment and zoning applications. Rezoning applications. If anyone would like to address the board on any agenda items, please step forward. No? Hearing none, uh, next we'll call for a uh, motion to approve the minutes. I so move. Is there a second? I will second. Mr. Grove? I vote yes. Mr. Bach? Yes. And I vote yes. Next on our agenda is the approval of the bills. Everyone has a packet of the bills for the past uh, two weeks. Is there a motion to approve the bills? Yep, I think we should pay some bills. Is there a second? I will second. Any questions or comments? None for me. All right, Mr. No. Grove? Yes. Mr. Bach? Vote yes. And I vote yes. Next item on our agenda is the administration of the oath of office. Um, we will be swearing in uh, some new police officers today. And with that, I'll turn it over to Chief Height. Thank you. Um, I respectfully request that the board administer the oath of office to three probationary officers. The first being John Drostowski. Uh, John attended Slippery Rock University. He previously was a seasonal police officer with the Ocean City, Maryland Police Department and a uh, member of the Erie County Sheriff's Office. Um, he currently is a reservist with the United States uh, Marine Corps. John, come on up. The next is Michael Weschler Jr. Michael attended Slippery Rock and Edinburgh Universities. He was a previous member of the Crawford County Correction Facility. He also worked at the Greenville West Salem Police Department and most recently Edinburgh University. Last being Jason Nagel. Jason also attended Edinburgh and Gannon University. He also completed coursework with uh, American Military University. He's a United States Army veteran and a, formerly a member of the City of Pittsburgh Police Department. Thank you, Chief. Uh, with that, I believe Mr. Bach will be administering the oath of office. Good morning. Raise your right hand and repeat after me, please. I, I John Gerard Drozowski, Michael Wetzler, Jason R. Nagel, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I will support, obey, and defend, that I will support, obey, and defend the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of this Commonwealth. And that I will discharge the duties of Mill Creek Township Police Officer in Mill Creek Township, Erie County, with fidelity. Congratulations. With that, folks, we, we do have a, a reception set up uh, in the lobby for, um, for the officers and any, any uh, friends and family or guests that might be here. Uh, so you're uh, welcome to be excused from the meeting. Thank or you very could, much. Or you could stick around for the rest of the meeting if you want. <laughs> it's, it's really totally thrilling. up to you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Need them closer. Yeah. Could you hear me good? Or? Oh, I can hear you. Oh, yeah. 
We've got some low talkers over there. resume the meeting. Next item on our agenda is bids and quotations. The first is the Argyle Avenue Directional Boring Project Contract Award, and that will be uh, from our planning department. Mr. Waldinger. Thank you. Uh, there's a residence at uh, 50, or I'm sorry, 4055 Argyle Avenue uh, that is having a severe water problem. The township has a clay tile pipe that uh, transverses an easement between two homes there. Because of the depth and the proximity to the homes, the pipe uh, would need to be replaced through a directional bore. Uh, Township engineer Ann Sokol has received quotations. She attempted to get three. Uh, only two local companies were qualified to do the work. Uh, the quotations she received were Amendola Development, $20,026 and Jim Brozell Construction, $29,100. The engineering department recommends that the contract is awarded to Amendola Development for $20,026. This is a budgeted expense uh, in the planning and development budget. Okay. Any questions from the board? No. No. <coughs> Do I hear a motion? Uh, to award the contract to Amendola Development for $20,026. I so move. Is there a second? I will second. Mr. Grove? I vote yes. Mr. Buck? I vote yes. And I vote yes. Next item on the agenda for bids and quotations is the Fidler Drive Storm Sewer Replacement Project bid results. Again, this will be the uh, Planning and Development Department. Uh, bids were opened on March 8, 2018 for the Fidler Drive Storm Sewer Replacement Project. Uh, we received eight quotations. Uh, the, I will read the amounts. Amendola Development, $24,715. Ray Showman Jr. Excavating, $24,200. Shivers Construction, $33,500. Edinger Trucking, $25,000. Consul Construction, $33,550. Russell Standard Corporation, $44,952. North Beaver Contracting, $27,152. And LaBeouf Industries, $68,450. Uh, the apparent low bidder is Ray Showman Excavating for a contract amount of $24,200. Township Engineer Ant Sokol is still reviewing the bids and will issue a formal recommendation when complete. Uh, it is our intent to have the award of this contract heard by the board on March 27th. Any questions or comments from the board? No, no for me. Right. Thank you, Mr. Waldinger. Next under bids and quotations is the trucking and hauling bid results. And that'll be our Public Works Department. Mr. Snyder. Good morning, gentlemen. Uh, first on the list uh, is the, these are all materials that we use for our paving projects for the year. Um, I'll go down through the list. Uh, 6,000 tons of number 8, 1B limestone. Uh, the only bidder on that was Carmesus Lime and Stone, also known as Erie Sand and Gravel, uh, for a cost of $22.65 a ton. On the, for the trucking, of the number eight limestone, we had three bidders. Cindy Glover Trucking for $2.49 a ton, Tim's Maintenance for $2.59 a ton, and Russell Standard Corporation for $3.30 a ton. Uh, 
we would recommend uh, the total bid for the trucking and the limestone uh, per ton is $25.14 and the total for the material would be $150,840. Um, it would be my recommendation to award the bid to Karma Seuss, uh for the material and Cindy Glover Trucking for the haul. Any questions from the board? Nope. Nope. Here. Is there a motion to approve the 6,000 ton type A crushed aggregate ASTRA number 8, 1B limestone to award uh, the contract for the materials to Carmus, uh, Erie Sand and Gravel uh, at a price of $22.65 per ton and to award the trucking to Cindy Glover Trucking Incorporated at uh, 249 per ton. Okay. I will move for that purchase. Is there a second? I will second. Mr. Grove. Vote yes. Mr. Bach? I vote yes. And I vote yes. Next on the list is 6,000 tons of number nine limestone. Here again, there was only one bidder, Armistice Limestone, um, and slash Erie Sand and Gravel, for the cost of $21.95 a ton. We had three bidders for the trucking, Cindy Glover Trucking at $2.49 a ton, Tim's Maintenance at $2.59 a ton, and Russell Standard Corporation or three dollars and thirty cents a ton uh, for the combined total of uh, with the hauling and the material of twenty four dollars and forty four cents a ton with a total of uh, one hundred forty six thousand six hundred and forty dollars um, I would recommend we award those bids to those two companies okay. any questions from the board one for me no. Gary I do have one question is it typical for us to only get one bidder for the materials uh, it depends on What's available locally? Yeah, it is. Yeah, okay. that's that's been known to happen, John, a couple different times. You know, it, not every year, but uh, from my experience, uh, I, I think it's happened. You know, maybe half the time. I think so. Okay. Yeah. All right. Is there a motion to approve the six thousand tons of Type A crushed aggregate number nine limestone to award uh, the contract for materials to Carmus Erie Sand and Gravel at a cost of twenty one ninety five per ton, and to award the trucking? Uh, the, the hauling to Cindy Glover Trucking Incorporated at 2.49 a ton. I will move on that purchase. Is there a second? I will second. Mr. Grove? I vote yes. Excuse Mr. Yes. Buck. Vote yes. <coughs> and I vote yes. Yeah. What else you got for us, Gary? Pardon? What else you got for us? Uh, next I have 14,000 <laughs> tons of bituminous asphalt sand, type B3. Here again, uh, the only bidder we had was Carmen Seuss Lyman Stone for $19 a ton. We had three bidders for the trucking. Cindy Glover Trucking at $2.49 a ton. Tim's Maintenance at $2.90 a ton. And Russell Standard at $3.30 a ton. The Questions from the board? Oh, one for me. Nope. Okay, I have one question about the materials. It's, it's a pretty, pretty steep difference between the 19 per ton and 470 per ton. Is that? Um, it, it, there again, it depends on the material. Mm -hmm. um, the sand has got a little more work to do to 
to get it where our specs are. Yeah. So that's why there's a, a little bit higher price on the sand. Also, I'm wondering the one the one the one bidder is at four seventy. I'm not complaining. I just want to make sure. We're Seems like a significant difference. All right, lucky us. Yeah. All yes, right. Uh, do I hear a, a motion to approve uh, for the 14,000 tons of bituminous asphalt sand type B3 uh, to award the contracts uh, for the materials to Gertz Sand and Gravel at 470 a ton and hauling to Cindy Glover Trucking Incorporated at uh, $5.30 a ton? Okay. I'll move on that uh, purchase. Is there a second? I will second. Mr. Grove? I vote yes. Mr. Bach? I vote yes. And I vote yes. Last on the list is 1,250 <coughs> ton of PG-64 petroleum asphalt cement. Uh, the only bidder here was Russell Standard Corporation at $491.92 a ton for an estimated total of $614,900. That would be my recommendation that we award that to uh, Russell Standard Corporation. And just to clarify, Mr. Snyder, that this is, uh, delivery is included in this. There's no separate hauling contract. Yes, it is. All right, is there a motion to approve the uh, 1,250 tons of number PG-6422 petroleum asphalt cement awarding the, the contract for materials and delivery to Russell Standard Corporation at $491.92 per ton? I'll move on that purchase. Is there a second? I'll second. Mr. Crow? I vote yes. Mr. Buck? I vote yes. And I vote yes. I guess we're not done with you yet, Gary. What else you got for us? Mm -hmm. um, the, we are looking at to remove a tree at 6136 Tomart. Um, it's in the township right away. It's also growing over the top of our storm sewer that runs underneath the road there, and we're getting infiltrated with tree roots. Um, the tree is hollow, so it would be my recommendation that we get this down. Yeah, sooner um, the better. <laughs> uh, we received uh, three telephone quotes, or three quotes. The first one from Leopold Tree Removal for $1,600. Dibble Tree Service for $2,200. And the third one being J. Thomas Tree Service or $995. It would be my recommendation that we award this to J. Thomas Street. Okay. Any questions from the board? For me. Nope. All right. Do I hear a motion to approve uh, the tree removal services uh, contract for uh, J. Thomas Tree Services at a price of $995? Yep. I will move on that. Is there a second? I will second. Mr. Grove? Yes. Mr. Bach? I vote yes. And I vote yes. <coughs> Final one is for the sewer department. Um, during the last melt, we had a check valve break at that station, and that is our largest station. We typically they put between two and three million gallons of sewage through there a day. Um, it is designed to work with three pumps. So being that we'd be down to two would put a strain on the station. So um, the sewer department bought the new check valve. Uh, this would only be for labor to install. Uh, we received three quotes. The first one from Scavell Company for $1,495. Second from Consul Construction for $2,350. And from William T. Spader for $2,250. Uh, it would be my recommendation that we award this to Scavell Company for $1,495. Okay. Any questions from the board? Okay. How soon is that going to be repaired? Is it like this um, week or? <coughs> I would see uh, probably next week. By next week. Okay. I'm just, yeah, just curious. Receive the order to, yeah. To go okay. Ahead. Just curious about that. Any other questions? No. Is there a motion to approve um, the contract for check valve replacement with Scopel Company at a cost of $1,495? I'll move. Is there a second? I will second. <coughs> Mr. Grove? I vote yes. Mr. Bach? I vote yes. And I vote yes. Thank you, Mr. Snyder. Uh, next item is the server purchase request uh, from the IT office. So I'll throw it over to Mark. Uh, 
this is a uh, is used jointly by the police department and the uh, uh, administrative half of the uh, township. Uh, I think this is in conjunction with the uh, video storage capacity, so we can so you know have more uh, storage capacity overall. Plus, the server is replacing has reached the end of its useful life. It's a budgeted item, and it's actually coming in under budget. Okay. Um, does persons require telephone quotes or anything like that, Mark, or is it? Uh, they got it thing? from uh, Gov the Gov Connection, which is, I think, a co co-star's price. Okay. All right. Is there a motion to approve uh, the purchase of the new uh, domain control, a new server to replace the aging domain controller? Uh, at a cost of three thousand six hundred twenty-five dollars. Yeah, I'll move on that purchase. Third second. I'll second. I apologize. Any questions from the board? None from me. All right, Mr. Grow. Yes. Mr. Buck. Yes. And I vote yes. Next item on our agenda is land development exemption request. DJC Associates. Uh, DJC Associates developer. I'll throw it over to Mr. Waldinger. This request was actually withdrawn by the developer yesterday. Um, They've chosen to, rather than seek a, an exemption from land development, to go ahead and submit a land development plan. They turned one into our offices yesterday, which will be heard by the Planning Commission in April of 2018. Thank you, Mr. Waldinger. Mr. Shaw, do we need to take any formal action to table that agenda item or the fact that it was withdrawn? <coughs> I think that the fact that it's withdrawn, there's no need to take any action on it. Next item on our agenda is Resolution 2018-R12, a resolution pursuant to Resolution 2015-R20 in the Municipal Records Manual to approve proposed disposition of certain township records. Uh, this is a pretty routine <coughs> item on our agenda. This is approving uh, the police department to dispose of MPD dash cam videos to be uh, once they reach uh, the retention period uh, over the next uh, two weeks from March 13th to March 27th. Is there a motion to approve resolution 2018 R12? Yeah, I'll move to approve resolution, resolution 2018 R12 for the disposal of those records listed. Is there a second? I will second that. Any questions or comments from the board? No. Nope. Mr. Grook? Vote yes. Mr. Bach? Yes. And I vote yes. Next item on our agenda is a 2018 solicitor fee schedule. Um, gentlemen, I believe we've all uh, reviewed the proposed uh, fee schedule for McDonald Illig. Um, any questions or comments from the board regarding the setting of a 2018 fee schedule? None from me. I'm good. Mr. Zuchowski or Mr. Shaw, any comments? No. All right. With that, is there a motion to approve the 2018 solicitor fee schedule? Yes, I'll move to approve that fee schedule as presented. Is there a second? I will second. Mr. Crow? Vote yes. Mr. Bach? Yes. And I vote yes. Next item on the agenda is request for tax exoneration for sale of parcel from repository for unsold properties uh, located at 1539 Tacky Drive. I mean, this is a, I believe, a dilapidated trailer, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. Uh, the, the amount of taxes we'd be exonerating are $239.16. Uh, I think there's a picture of the, uh, the trailer. Well, it doesn't look bad. Yeah. If we can get back on the tax rolls, somebody actually paying the taxes, it would be beneficial. And there's a uh, buyer for the par uh, trailer parcel. Any questions or comments from the board? None. Is there a motion to approve the tax exoneration uh, for 1539 Tacky Drive? Yes, I'll move to approve that exoneration. Is there a second? I'll second. Mr. Grow? I vote yes. Mr. Bach? Yes. And I vote yes. Next on the agenda is the February Building Construction Report. I'll throw it over to Mr. Grow. 
Okay, this is this is a really low one. I don't think I've ever recalled seeing it this low, but for the month of February, um, of course it's seasonal too, don't forget. Uh, there was a total for non-residential non construction for structures, additions, a construction value of $12,255. <laughs> it's just that sort of thing that happens this time of year, but I think that's the lowest I've ever seen. Uh, that I can recall. So anyway, a copy of that, if you're interested, is available at the zoning office, and I think it's online later this week. Thank you, Mr. Grove. <coughs> yeah. uh, next item on the, on the agenda is communications. Uh, we'll start with treasurer communications. Mark, anything uh, to nothing report Nothing at this point. All right. Next item is payroll adjustments. Uh, this comes from Human, Human Resource Department request. Um, essentially, gentlemen, we have uh, 14 employees in the building. Um, that are due um, annual step increases per the existing contract. Um, with our ongoing negotiations for the new contract, uh, those automatic step increases were put on hold last year um, due to some significant progress we've made in those negotiations. Uh, the board has agreed to release those 14 step increases. Um, so we have, since this is outside the contract, we do need to take formal action as we would any other uh, non-bargaining employee. Um, so we have uh, 14 individuals who would uh, essentially increase uh, their annual uh, hourly rate uh, based on the previous contract, and these increases would be retroactive to their respective uh, anniversary dates. Any questions or comments from the board? None for me. No. Mr. Morgan, I noticed on one of these uh, the gentleman's. Uh, Date of increase is the same date as the date of hire. That, that's my fault. Okay, so that it's should supposed be supposed to be the seventeenth. Okay, uh, twenty seventeen or all twenty seventeen. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that was clear on the record. You're, you're referring to Mr. M or yep, now Marthers from the garage. Yes. Okay. Right, Additionally, then. these were all included in the uh, uh, end of the year accrual, so it's there's no impact on the budget for this so year. These were all budget expenses. Yes. All right, is there a motion to approve the payroll adjustments for these 14 employees? Yeah, I so move. Is there a second? I will second. Mr. Grove? I vote yes. Mr. Bach? I vote yes. And I vote yes. Next, we have a training requests from the Planning and Development Department. I'll let Mr. Waldinger make his request in person. <coughs> we have uh, requests for two different training opportunities for staff in the Planning and Development Department. Uh, the first is a class on special residential occupancies um, that would go over zoning challenges created by certain special residential uses such as drug and alcohol treatment facilities, group homes, halfway houses, all of which that we have in the township and it would be good for our staff to be updated on current practices. Uh, that class is in Meadville, Pennsylvania on April 12th, 2018 from 8.30 to 4.30 p.m. The cost is $125 per person. I'd like to request the approval for Matthew Puzz Jr. and Julie Maggio to attend that class for a total fee of $250 uh, and also to allow them to use the township vehicle for travel. Uh, these funds are budgeted in the planning and development training budget. Any questions or comments from the board? Is there a motion to approve the training request for Mr. Puzz and Ms. Maggio? Yeah, I'll move to approve that training request. Is there a second? I'll second. Mr. Grove? I vote yes. Mr. Bach? I vote yes. And I vote yes. Uh, the second is a request for <coughs> Emma George, uh, PE, the Township Project Engineer, to attend a workshop put on by the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection. Uh, this is pursuant to their new policy to require electronic submission of emergency action plans for dams. The township currently has several uh, flood retention basins that are high enough that they qualify for or require, I should say, a dam permit, um, including McDowell Intermediate High School and Riviera Estates FDB. Emma just recently completed the emergency action plans for this year, but this will allow her to meet the requirements for next year when they must be submitted electronically. Uh, the class is Wednesday, April 25th, 2018. Uh, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's at the Allegheny County Emergency Services Building in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. There's no fee for attendance. We're just requesting permission 
to use the township vehicle for her travel. Thank you, Mr. Waldinger. Any questions from the board? Yeah, I, I have a quick question for you. Is this something that's uh, under emergency services, like emergency management, something that uh, Matt Exley and Caleb Dixon would benefit from too? Um, I don't know. It's something that uh, I mean, if Rick they were interested, if they were did, interested in doing this, uh, I'm, I'm yeah, I, I would think so. We could always inquire okay. about it. This okay. is uh, these uh, dam permits are something that Rick Morris always did, and now the M is taking that. Right. Over. Yeah. Okay. I'll talk it over with the guys sure. there, you know, just to see what their thoughts are about attending. Okay. I won't. I won't amend it then. Okay. Thanks. Any further questions? No. All right. Is our motion to approve uh, the training request for Ms. George? I'll move to approve that training request. Is there a second? I will second. Mr. Groh? I vote yes. Mr. Bach? I vote yes. And I vote yes. Thank you. Next item is a reporting out of executive sessions. The board did hold uh, two executive sessions, one on March 2nd and one on March 8th. Uh, those are routine meetings with our solicitor uh, and executive team to discuss various legal and personnel issues. Uh, next item is the MPD requests. Are there any requests this meeting from the chief? Uh, I don't Mr. have any. Yeah. There's one request. Okay. Uh, request from Chief Scott Height uh, for permission to have four members of the Special Weapons and Tactics Team, Crisis Negotiator Team, to attend the Ohio Tactical Officers Association Training Conference June 4th through the 8th, 2018 in Sandusky, Ohio. Travel will be by department vehicle. Estimated costs are $1,200 for registration. Meals and expenses, $1,026. Hotel, $960. Travel expenses, $80. Total estimated cost, $3,266. Put that in the form of a motion. Is there a second? Yes, I'll second that. Any questions or comments from the board? Going to say, you know, the parts <coughs> I'm in charge of are traveling much, much more lightly. James, all I'm saying. <laughs> Mr. Gray, I vote yes. Mr. Bach, yes. And I vote yes. Next request is from me. It's a training request. Uh, permission to attend the Pennsylvania Law Enforcement Accreditation Training Conference in Harrisburg, March 26th to 28th. Uh, this training was previously approved for Chief Height and Sergeant Haber to attend, and uh, they've requested that I attend as well. Um, I would be traveling with them in the department vehicle. Estimated costs, uh, $100 for registration, $200 for hotel, and $100 for meals for $400. Uh, this is a, um, it's a preliminary um, training conference for us to uh, evaluate if our department is interested and is a good candidate to become an accredited law enforcement agency. Uh, there is only one other municipal department in Erie County that is accredited and that's Northeast Borough. Uh, they've been through the process. Um, they speak highly of it. They think it's worth the time and effort to do this. So this is the first step in just gauging if it's something that uh, the department and our township is interested in pursuing further. So I'd like to attend and see firsthand uh, the information. Okay. Put that in the form of a motion. Okay. Is there a second? Yeah, I'll second that. Any comments from the board? No, I think it's a great idea. All right. right. Mr. Grove? I vote yes. Mr. Bach? I vote yes. And I vote yes. I'll, I'll make the motion to replace your <coughs> Approval for a Cato Schools registration. Uh, Mr. Grow and myself are requesting permission to attend on March 22nd, next Thursday. Um, the uh, Cato meeting is being tied in with a uh, opioid uh, presentation, an open discussion out at the Summit Township building. It'll be taught by Trooper Cynthia Owens. Uh, she's the uh, Pennsylvania State Police Community Services Officer and Lyle Cook, the coroner. Uh, they're going <clears> to <throat> present um, a forum on um, the opioid crisis in our area and uh, cost is $10 for both of us to attend. Put that in the form of a motion. 
Is there a second? Yeah, I'll second that. Any questions or comments? Mr. Grove? I vote yes. Mr. Bach? I vote yes. And I vote yes. <coughs> and we have requests for approval for the Ikedo Fireman's Conference Dinner. Um, this is normally, uh, I believe this is an annual event. That is correct. Okay. And this year it's being held at the McCain Ushers Club. Uh, cost is $30 per person. And uh, Ikedo has invited um, supervisors and uh, <coughs> normally the fire chiefs in the township are also invited and emergency management. So we're just um, requesting for uh, approval up to eight individuals attending that conference, uh, conference dinner rather, at a cost of $240. Okay. And that's for the what, five fire chiefs, Matt, Caleb, and a member of the board. Is that the intention for the eight? Yeah, I mean, the eight is, yeah. there's some flexibility there, but yes, in general, that would be the contingent yeah. that would. Not all of the chiefs may be able to attend. They may have prior conflicts. That's right. why we've, we've, we've t uh, typically limited it to eight that we pay for. Am I right, Cheryl? On a, yeah, eight. Yes, yeah. up to eight. So, Okay, now that was a motion? I put the form of a motion. Is there a second? Yeah, I'll second that. All right. Mr. Groh? I vote yes. Mr. Bach? I vote yes. And I vote yes. Next, we have the Erie County Firefighters Association Public Safety Awards Banquet. So many dinners and banquets coming up. <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Bach? This is the time of year. So you're, you're, you're like the party planner. <laughs> this is a request for, I believe, uh, Mr. Groh is attending this dinner. I'm unable to attend because of a previous commitment, but this is the Erie County Firefighters Association Public Safety Awards Banquet at the Perry Highway Hose Company, Friday, April 13th, $17 per person, and uh, I assume that's also an annual event. Yes, it is. And Mr. Groh has stated he would like to attend that. I'll put that in the form of a motion. Okay. Is there a second? I'll second that. All right. Any questions, comments from the board? This is a $17 fee, right? That's correct. $17 right. for the dinner and the banquet. Mr. Groh? Vote yes. Mr. Bach? Vote yes. And I vote yes. And gentlemen, I apologize. Isn't there one other conference coming up? It's held up at... Um, the ambassador. Boy, is there is there something, Cheryl? Oh yeah, the Red Cross dinner is coming up. In fact, uh, the township, the emergency management department, is uh, receiving the Heroes Award this year. Uh, I don't have the numbers on that. In fact, I was going to get a hold of uh, Pam Macy at the Red Cross to see what kind of uh, arrangements we had for that. Okay, is that coming up in April, or is, it, is that coming up? I, I'm thinking like April 25th. I, somehow that day rings a bell with me. I don't know. Uh, I'll get a hold of Matt Exley first, and then get a hold of. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. yeah actually, I, I I dig it. I, I assume everybody got one. I'll, I'll share it with you, sure. I didn't realize. Maybe it just came to me as the chair. Yeah. Okay. Uh, to may have. Yeah. So, I'll get a hold of Pam to see what we can do on that. There. You know what's included. So. Yeah. All right. Uh, next is the student ambassador report. Uh, this past weekend, the McDowell wrestling team had two wrestlers uh, wrestle in the individual PIAA state championships. Uh, we had one wrestler, Jeffrey Boyd, uh, win an individual gold medal, and Lino Ciotti took the eighth place medal uh, at 132 and 138 pounds, respectively. So if you see any of the guys, uh, make sure to wish them or tell them congratulations. I'd, I'd like to add something to that, uh, and that's our uh, uh, mock trial team here at McDowell High School. They won the, uh, the, the, the mock trial event here over the weekend, is that right? Uh, we won. We won the... District the district tournament, yeah. We yeah. Went down regionals, we lost but that's okay. Still, you represented us very well. Thanks. Next is solicitor communications. What good news do you have for us today, Mr. Shaw? Uh, yes, I received an email from uh, Paul Miller of PennDOT uh, regarding a request that they had to uh, substitute a, a new exhibit uh, with respect to one of the agreements that the board approved, I think, back in January. Uh, it was a reimbursement agreement with PennDOT relating to the ADA sidewalk work that they're doing along the state highways. Uh, apparently the um, 
the non-discrimination sexual harassment clause that that was an exhibit to that agreement changed at some point but it hadn't been updated or changed within the the draft agreement that we had so they requested that we uh, uh, simply uh, agree to switch out the exhibits uh, an email response would be fine uh, with them I indicated that we were having a meeting this morning and that I would raise it with the supervisors uh, I have looked at the two clauses um, they're basically the same uh, the only real significant difference is the original uh, uh, exhibit had a lot of references to contractors as opposed to this one has references to grantees so it's more appropriate from that perspective and then it's more descriptive in the types of discrimination that are prohibited uh, the prior uh, exhibit simply just referenced generically you know what's against the law this gets into more detail of what what specifically that is so I would recommend that the supervisors uh, approve uh, switching out these uh, this new exhibit for the old exhibit in that agreement okay any questions from the board None for me no is there a motion to approve the revised non-discrimination sexual harassment clause uh, for our PennDOT agreement? Yeah, I'll so move for that. Is there a second? I'll second. And this wasn't specifically noted on the agenda. Um, any members of the public care to comment on this action? No. Hearing none, I'll call for a vote. Mr. Grove? I vote yes. Mr. Bach? Yes. And I vote yes. Anything yeah. else, Mr. Shaw? That's all I have. All right. Uh, right to no request. I have the report from February. We had two requests. Um, one was denied. We had no records for that report. And the other one was granted. Total of three hours spent. And there were two records for the other request. And that's it. Thank you, Cheryl. Anything else to go to the order? All right, citizens to be heard. Anyone in the audience care to address the board today? All right, hearing none, call for a motion to adjourn. At 10, 13 a.m., I move to adjourn. I will second. All right, we are adjourned. Thanks, everybody. You're watching the Mill Creek Government Channel, powered by WQLN Public Media.